back to volume or BCV. For measuring the back to volume, we need a microbatic grid tube. A microbatic grid tube is a small tube which is uh, about 7 cm in length. The microbatic grid tube uh, is coated from inside with anticoagulant. Also, we need a clay. First, gentle mixing of the blood sample. Then, insert one end of the micromatic tube in the tube containing the blood. The blood sample will be withdrawn by capillary action. Wait till the capillary, the capillary tube being filled with blood. Leave about one and a half centimeter from above. After that, seal one end of the tube using clay and wipe the external surface of the tube using a tissue. Two micrometric grid tube is needed for centrifugation of the blood sample. So another micrometric grid tube is filled with blood, the same as previous. Same steps are repeated. One end of the tube is uh, sealed using uh, clay. The external surface is whipped from uh, the blood. The tube is placed opposite to each other in the micrometric grid uh, tube centrifuge with the sealed end facing outside and the open end facing towards the inside. The centrifugation is done for 5 minutes at 10,000 rounds per minute. After centrifugation of the blood sample is the micrometric grid tube, three layers in orbit. The first layer is the BCV layer or back the same layer. The second layer is the white to gray layer and the above layer is the plasma. Uh, the BCV layer is measured using the BCV scale. Place the bottom of the red blood cells column exactly on the baseline of the radar. Move the radar 
until the top of the plasma layer exactly one hundred. This means that the column of blood equal to one hundred percent. Move the micro holder till the light passes across the top of the red blood cells layer. The reading facing the microparticle tube holder is the reading of the BCV.